and welcome to the video. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about how I make time for all of the things I want to do in my life. There are a lot of things I like to do, but it's hard to be able to find the time to do all of them. I am a full-time data scientist, owner of three adorable pets, one of them being a golden retriever puppy. I cook, I clean, I have multiple hobbies I like to do, like drawing and reading. And on top of that, now I've started this YouTube channel. Here are the methods I use to make time for all of it. One huge time saver I have the luxury of is the ability to work from home. Having zero commute is truly a game changer. I understand that not every job can be worked remotely, so I'm extremely grateful to have one that does. Even still, there is a habit I have to get other things done even while I'm working. I've mentioned this before in a video I have about reading more, where if I have to wait a few minutes for something to load, instead of going on my phone, I'll pick up a book I have nearby and read a few pages. Or I'll doodle in my sketchbook to pass the time. Since we've gotten a puppy, I've been having to get up multiple times throughout the night to take her outside. I like to capture these moments too. When I'm outside with her, I'll normally get an idea for something I want to talk about in a video, and so I'll take a second to jot down a few lines in that moment. If you do have a commute, take advantage of that time by listening to something related to one of your hobbies or interests instead of music. Over time, these little moments of capturing a few minutes here and there add up, eventually leading me to finish a book, a script, or a sketchbook. I don't try to do everything at once. I'm not working, cleaning the whole house, cooking, filming, editing, drawing, and reading all in one day, each and every single day. I have specific days where I focus on getting specific things done. For example, on Mondays, I'll spend an hour before work cleaning all of the bathrooms to just get it out of the way. And after work, We'll go on a brief walk for exercise, and I'll usually make a quick dinner. So, at the end of the day, there's still a lot of time left for us to relax. If I get a little time here and there throughout the day to do other things, that's cool. But I have a focus on just those three things. Cleaning the bathroom, getting some exercise, and making dinner. On another day, I'll focus on completing a different set of chores like vacuuming, which only takes a few minutes, leaving more time for me to complete other things. On a day like that, I'll usually do some meal prepping. That way dinners are quick for the rest of the week. Again, freeing up some time for other things on those days. On some days, we'll use our lunch break to get exercise in instead of exercising after work. And this just gives us some more time at the end of our day to just relax. Blocking out 30 minutes to one hour for a specific task is a great way for me to get through big tasks like keeping the whole house clean more manageable by completing them over time throughout the work week instead of all at once. For me, the weekends are the best time to work on hobbies. Because all of my major chores got done throughout the work week, there's lots of time for us to unwind and have fun on the weekends. A lot of the work for these YouTube videos gets done on a Sunday morning when our puppy is napping for a few hours. I might choose to sit and paint for a while or do some reading. These are my days to just do whatever.
During the week, I pick out one to three things, depending on how long it takes me to do each thing to focus on completing outside of work. That's it. I don't want to overload my schedule and then have no room in case something comes up, which often does when you have a puppy or a family to care for. In the cases where I've managed to create a good amount of spare time, I used to encounter a challenge where I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know if I should spend my time on a hobby or if I should save even more time for the future. Even if I decided that I'd work on a hobby, then I didn't know which hobby to pick. That's why it's so important to prioritize. Take a step back and think about how you've spent your time recently. Has it been 90% work, 10% play, and little to no rest? Oftentimes, when we feel like we're on a roll and we're being super productive, we want to keep it up. But once you zoom out, it becomes easier to see what you need to prioritize. In that example, you should rest even if you don't feel like it. Because if you don't, you could burn out. So you need to prioritize resting in order to rebalance. If your time recently has been pretty well balanced between work, play, and rest, but you're struck with a little analysis paralysis, just start doing anything. Pick up something nearby. If that's boring, move on to the next thing. If there's a new game you bought, start playing that for a little. If that isn't doing it for you, put on a movie at random. The idea here is to limit the amount of decisions you have to make in the moment. When you have too much to choose from, it's much harder to pick out which out of all of the options is the best for you right now. But approaching just one thing at a time is a simple, do I want to keep doing this? Yes or no. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you liked it, consider subscribing for more videos like these ones. Thanks again. And until next time, goodbye.